Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Friday, July the 17th. Sorry, July the 15th. I'm kind of ahead of myself here. Uh, my name is Barry Anderson. I'm the moderator of our trading room. This is the address to get into the room. And this is a free room. You do not have to be a member of Trade Ideas. I share my screen all day long. I'm live on the mic between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And you can use this uh, link as the subscription link if you if you uh, copy and paste it and click on it you will be taken to a subscription page and there will be a promo code there for you to get instant savings all right well what another fantastic day in our room uh, honest to gosh just a fantastic day now I am in this trade right now stamp it is from Holly uh, I have to watch it like a hawk because this uh, you know if you know anything about this this has had some really gloomy news over the past few days uh, threats that the US, uh, US Postal Service will be not using their uh, product anymore. Just bring out a, you take a look at the daily and you're going to see what I'm talking about. This was the day that news was announced and it's just had catastrophic days ever since. A little bit of a pop up yesterday, a little bit of green there, but you know, it, again, it is down. But Holly has um, given us a long trade on this, a long signal on this one. And so I'm in this one. I'm actually in at 70, 73.30, a little bit late. The trigger was at 73.19, and it was the short on. Oh, and I see we have another one. Well, anyway, um, it was the float on, I should say. And basically looking for stocks with low floats. And this one has uh, 16 million in the float, so that uh, classified as a low float. Typically, I don't like the more expensive low, low float stocks, but... Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, obviously, has a lot. If it if it ever catches any sort of a bid, this could uh, really zip up there. If not, you know, I just get out with a with a small loss. But the big, I mean, we had so many fantastic trades from our low floaters on the move today. Again, if you're not in our room, I don't know why you're not in our room. <laughs> I really, really do not know. Uh, there it pops a little bit. So I'm going to stick this on another monitor. And just, uh, you know, I will have to monitor it on my other monitor. But this, is, this gave us some fan, absolutely fantastic trades. I mean, look at, look at OPT, OPT. 4.79. 4.79 was the trigger. 4.79 right here was the trigger. Look what it hit, 10.22. Um... CIDM, a little bit of a disappointment for me. This is one that I actually got into. I uh, got into at uh, 143. What was the trigger? 138. I got into it at uh, 143. It was right there. And uh, traded it out at 180. Up here, 180. And then down as it, as it started coming down at 150. I had higher hopes for this one because this is actually an earnings play also. But again, uh, a very low float. Uh, 6.85 million in the float. And then, let's see, Eunice. Eunice sort of worked a little bit for me. Um, got in. Here was the trigger at 408. And I got into the trade at uh, 412, actually right here. Look at that candle. I mean, these are so quick. Got out at uh, 430, and then basically as it came back down, I, I got out at, at, at my buy. Spew. I didn't get into this one. Look at this one. Uh, 509 is, is the trigger right there. 509. Look at this move all the way up to 788. Um, and I'm mentioning these because these are the, these are ones that other people in the room traded. This is one I traded, Kura. Now we we were watching Kura yesterday, and here was the trigger, 526. I got in at a little bit late at uh, five, uh, right here at five. Well, actually, there it is, 550, 551. Actually, look at the move, just so quick. I got out at uh, five 578 on the way up and on the way down at uh, 620. And when it broke down through five, uh, 595, these are just spectacular percentage play games uh, or trades. Um, those are the ones that, uh, yeah, Cura, Spew, OPTT, and CIDM, Unis. I mean, they're all really, really excellent trades coming from this. Uh, and there could, there could even be more from here. If you're not in the trading room, I don't know why you're not, but this is one you know that you should be following uh, in the morning right off the bat. These can give you some just spectacular setups. Now, from Holly, you know, and you know, unfortunately, poor old Holly, it looks the, 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 these look kind of boring. But 
HRTX. Got into HRTX from Holly. Uh, here was a trigger. All right. It's closed now. So here was the trigger at uh, 1666. Okay, 1666. Now, I took the trade at 1682, right about, well, it's close enough, it says 83, but that's close enough. Took the trade right here. I had to withstand a little bit of a pullback. I, I took the trade, it popped up, and then it, then it pulled back a little bit. And, no, I'm sorry, that's, uh, that's right, I was, I was talking, um, just one second, I want to make sure. Oh, it's the ALR trade. I'm sorry. That's so many, so many things going on. Yeah, took the trade at 1682, uh, withstood this little pullback. It was was not that big a deal. And then look what happened to it right after that. Uh, got out at uh, 1721 and 1728, um, and it's still working. Now, one of the interesting things is that Holly actually took a profit save on at 13 cents because of this action right there it's holly saw this go up but as this was happening holly said you know what if this is just going to continue down so i'm going to protect some profit at 13 cents and doesn't mean you you have to stop watching it though because you know as i've said many many times in the room this column right there it's called risk on profit uh used to be uh, the non-exit profit and you keep watching this and so what happened is that when holly exited for this 13 cent profit it basically was still hanging around that that exit point and then all of a sudden it started to move up and that would be your clue that okay holly was being protective here on this but let's get back into it and you know that's how you have to trade around uh, uh around our ai channel it's not just simply necessarily following blindly at the at the entry 1666 and get in because even this you know you can wait a while wait to see if it sets up a little bit but even on the profit exit even if this even if this had exited for a loss and then had this come back to zero so understand what i'm saying profit let's say say the profit was a loss there was no profit it was a minus so in other words it's uh, say it sold at 1650 and then it came back to 1660 the entry price this would have said zero. Now you start watching it again, okay, because you might say, okay, maybe Holly was just a little bit early. And so that's how you have to play, play these, all right? Now, Stamp is, uh, eh, Stamp is okay. I mean, it's uh, nothing, nothing fantastic yet, but and I really have to watch it because this is one that uh, can really start to whip around. The other one was ALR, and this is, this is what I wanted to say. ALR... Excuse me, this is one we saw in the pre-market. This is why you should come into the trading room in the pre-market. You see that we saw this action. Here's where it closed yesterday, 39.50. Had a nice pop. So I started watching this, and I put this on a thumbnail chart, chart uh, one of my other monitors. Watch this action here. Actually called it in the room. I said, you know, this is looks like it's trying to uh, curl off 42. And I ended up, I did, you know, I, I lost sight of it a little bit, but I started seeing it again here, and I thought, you know, if it could break this level here at 50, might might give us a good trade. And that, and why, I'm going to change it to five minute because I'm going to explain something here, what I did. So, again, it was right here. So, you can see that I got into this trade at 42, sorry, 42.52. 42.52. I sold some right there at 42.87. Now, you notice, just one second, please. Yeah, hi there. I knew there was something wrong when I was saying about the ALR. I was, you know, I, I, it's been so frantic today. I, it was the Cura trade that I wanted to explain what I, uh, what I do. A lot of people ask me, well, why do I sell some at the beginning? Uh, how do I know when to do it? And uh, there's no real... There's no real magic to it. I mean, a lot of it is instinct. But this is what I was trying to uh, say on on the Cura trade. I got yeah, I got in at 551, and I sold some right here at five five seventy eight. Okay, now because I did that, you know, so you know, it popped up to five ninety four, and I and so on the way up, I was selling some. Because I did that, I was able to hold on as this pulled back down. You see, and this is a very very whippy one. It could be very whippy. Notice how it pulled back almost 556, almost to my buy price. But because I had sold some already, I didn't agonize over this. 
Had I not sold any here, I would have been going, oh man, did I make a big mistake? I, you know, I, I had some decent profit because understand this is a red candle and this could have just collapsed. It could have just, uh, you know, been one of, it could have been this situation coming down. But because I was able to hold on, uh, because I made a sale, I was able to withstand this pullback. It popped back up again. And that's when I was able to really take advantage of, of the bigger move. So I'm sorry, it wasn't the ALR trade. The ALR trade was 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 more uh, it was just more typical uh say i got in at 42.52 sold some at uh 42.87 42.87 right right around here and then you know it popped up it popped up over 43.21 and i thought okay maybe it's going to rip and it didn't and i actually kind of got shaken out here at uh, 42.95 so uh but all in all, a nice trade, and I see it's popping up again. All in all, though, a, a pretty good trade. And, uh, you know, certainly I would do that one again. And Stamp is starting to really, uh, really work for me now, too. Sorry, I'm a little bit disjointed today because there's been so much going on, but this is really starting to work well now. Again, I'm in at 73.30, so I'm going to hold on. This could have a big multi-dollar swing if it wants to because, again, look at the daily on this. Look at the daily on this. So, you know, a lot of people are are uh, disputing the news that U.S. the U.S. Postal Service is uh, going to drop them. So we'll have to see. I mean, this is going to all over the place. Look at the low of yesterday was 68, uh, 68, 67. So I mean, it's already tacked on a lot from there. So my stop now probably should be around 73.30 or 73.50. You know, I bought it at 73.50. Certainly didn't buy a lot because I absolutely did not want to jeopardize all the great gains that I had uh, earlier on. Uh, there was one loss. I should uh, go over that one. The one that they actually, the one that didn't work, FFHL. Say they don't all work. You know, this is uh, FFHL. Let me let me try to find it here. Oh, I forgot about Zayas. This is the other one. Look at this one. 268, the alert, 268, the alert. Now, it had a massive pullback, absolutely. 268, though, it popped all the way up, popped all the way up here, pulled back, and now it's resumed. So, I mean, these low float, it's a low float, 2.8 million in the float. I mean, this is why these things rip. And this is the one that did not work. Just got to find it. There it is, FA, here we are. And... Get back to a 15 minute time frame. So here's where the alert was. Had high hopes for this one. Uh, it, over a dollar, sometimes these things can really fly. Got in at a dollar 22, right? Actually, right there. It actually, I can't remember actually what candle I got in. It might have even been this candle, but got in at a dollar 22, and then this, this happened. And as I said in the room, if I see a candle like this. Now, granted, this was green at one point, but then immediately it came back down. And we look at a five minute chart you see this is this is the candle and so yes it, it uh, or this candle sold right off this candle is red so there wasn't a lot of instant follow-through a lot of these uh, these low floaters can have that instant instant follow-through when they start to stall and especially if, if, if it starts looking green or sorry red that's when I uh, definitely definitely have to take pause and think well, okay maybe this is the one that's not going to work so I got out of this one at 116 right down here. So I took a six cent loss on that one, but you know, overall just a fabulous day uh, based on these low floaters. You should be in the room. If you're not in the room, I have no idea why you're not. <laughs> that's all I can say. All right, let me get back. Uh, that's it. I uh, hope everybody has a great, great weekend. Again, we have our open house on uh, starting on Monday to Friday. Uh, basically for $7.99, you get uh, everything that Trade Ideas has to offer live, real time. Uh, our excuse me, all our Holly AI channel, our price alerts, uh, everything that are, are, are all of our premium services. So I would absolutely encourage you to come in at for $7.99. I mean, you can try everything for uh, basically, uh, I mean, it's not free. I get it. It's $7.99, but you get absolutely, I think, the best trading platform uh, out there. Plus you get, um, you know, the help and the support from the trading room. Four webinars a week. Um, 
I, I just think we're we we've got one of the best things going on the internet. Honestly, I mean, in terms of trading. So come in, check us out, and uh, have a great great uh, weekend. Again, I open the room at about quarter to nine. Uh, that's when I start sharing my screen and then live 9 to 4 Eastern Time. Thanks for listening and see you in our trading room on Monday. Bye-bye.